but it's in a beautiful location. It's right by the White National Mountain Forest. It's in northern New Hampshire. The air is really clean, uh, so it's very scenic. It's very beautiful. It's very serene in a lot of ways. That really is just such a great backdrop for such a great event. And also, it's the, you know, probably the biggest libertarian event that happens on the East Coast. So the people that gather there are definitely extremely free to mind itself you know me being an anarchist an anarcho-capitalist i was able to really you know find and jive with that community and i, I keep on uh doing that although it's not necessarily this politically charged event in a lot of ways it's definitely just a fun um summer event that a lot of people can have a lot of fun with so this video is going to go through you know documenting my experience and a lot of things but while I do like Portfest, while I do think the Free State Project is a good thing, there definitely are problems with it. Like, again, I did mention there are problems with Rogers Campground, and although Rogers, isn't, Rogers Campground isn't owned by the FSP, but definitely needs um, a lot of work on the facilities. I won't get into everything that the facilities needs, but, you know, you've also got the people who are running the Free State Project who definitely are uh, left libertarians, or the libertine libertarians. They want... Um, you know, you know, they're definitely get offended by things easily. They definitely want, um, things to be a certain way. They're definitely imposing, uh, too many rules on Ancapistan. So I think the best example, I, you know, the Body Freedom Village, right? I was there a lot last year. The nudists, um, you know, were not really happy with the, the rules last year. And they're even more restrictive this year. Although apparently there was a naked party at the pavilion, but, I think Constance, the uh, one of the producers for the Free State Project, was like, "Oh, we gave the uh, you know Bradley Freedom Village a, a great location, and they were in a worse location than they were last year. So last year they were um, in the middle of the RV section, like by Agora Valley, but they were nestled all the way um, at the uh, the tail end of um, of the RV site, like towards like the, I would say the north uh, east." of uh that campsites are where they're all the way in the back and even still there was one nudist that got into a, a bit of a spat with one of the seasonal strength seasonal tried to stab the nudist and that guy was banned for the entire week so there still was some conflict but mostly this went off without a hitch and i don't i do think nudism isn't really this big sticking issue for most libertarians most people don't um really care about being nudist but you know again again there's just this absolute you know freedom of um you know the non-aggression principle like if you own yourself uh being nude is an, an act of aggression if you want to you know strut your stuff you've got a right to then of course there is this whole idea of you know nudism you know around children there's about 300 children or so this year 400 last year so it definitely is a family event as well and that's got something that has to be considered so there definitely has to be rules and um procedures in ancapus but a lot of people think there's too many there's too much, but I wouldn't let that um, poison the well of uh, your thinking with Pork Fest. It's still a great event. It's a great place to network and meet people and enjoy yourself and just have fun. Uh, especially if, again, you are a libertarian, you are freedom-minded. Uh, it's a great place to spend a week of your life. And that's why I want to keep going back. It's why I want to move to New Hampshire. Uh, New Hampshire is definitely a lot more free than a lot of places in this country, especially a place like New York. So, Velvet Room Publishing was there. I sold quite a few copies of Machine to Man, so thank you to anyone who bought a copy, uh, you know, read the book especially as well. And I also showed Debunking Gender Ideology and How to Manage Gender Dysphoria. I got interest in that as well. So, you know, thank you for taking interest in my little publishing house at Pork Fest. It's always fun to, you know, show the book to people and especially fun um, to get people uh, interested enough to become one of my readers. I'm always very thankful for that. I mentioned the people at Pork Fest and I'd like to mention the Freedoms Breeders Club by Jeremy Kaufman and Out of Lockstep by Anna Cole specifically. I talked to both of them. I talked to Anna more than Jeremy, but they're both uh, nice people. I wanted to film uh, a podcast with both of them, but I never got around to doing that. I just uh, I didn't have the wherewithal, and scheduling is always uh, a bit hectic, especially an event with Park Fest where people are rushing around and doing stuff. So I didn't make that happen. Uh, you also had uh, a bunch of speakers. Naomi Wolf was there. I popped in just a tiny bit. There was uh, David Friedman, son of uh, Milton Friedman, had a debate with, uh, I think it was Gene Epstein. Uh, and that was pretty interesting. I watched basically all of that. So even though the speakers 
speakers were pay to play. I think a lot of it is interesting. Bavilion was definitely an interesting place to be this pork fest, and it wasn't locked down, so that was always uh, fantastic. So, uh, what's going to happen next in this video is I'm going to show a clip of the porcupines, and I'm also going to show um, a clip of some music that I thought was interesting. And again, you'll also see. Uh, some pictures of the dogs. So there are lots of kids and lots of dogs there. So it really is a family event, and especially Ron Paul. That's David uh, Dennis Pratt's dog, right? So people say I'm a, they're Ron Paul libertarians. I feel like I'm a Ron Paul libertarian. If you see that the, the German Shepherd, that's Ron Paul. Absolutely beautiful dog, and a lot of the dogs are very nice. Um, to, uh, to just look at a whole lot of them like to, to like to bark at me. Maybe that's just a me thing. But again, without further ado, hopefully you enjoy the rest of this video, even though it might be a bit haphazard and all over the place. Uh, let's see, this is the Porcupines Pavilion. Pool is open this year. It wasn't last year. Although I did hear uh, some people getting chlorine burns, so it might not be the best. But uh, you got a lot of kids at Pork Fest. I think there were 400 last year. Probably seems like there is about the same amount this year as well. So it's a really much a family-oriented event as much as it is a, I'd say, a libertarian one. So it's absolutely nice to see. It's a very, uh, it's a very bright white belt. Hey guys, Joker here, Porkfest 24, been packing like a madman, so I'm a bit out of breath, and uh, uh, the bigger car this year, I got it packed to the gills right here. Still got a little bit more stuff, I'm gonna, those coolers don't have any food in them yet, but I got them all strapped in, ready to go. Drop this one, <laughs> to duct tape it, uh, so that way it hopefully it doesn't leak, hopefully all the stuff makes it intact. But we even got uh, my backpack here. We got stuff literally everywhere. So hopefully I can see out the back. Absolutely hype this year. Much more experience. Actually know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, okay, here we go. It actually closes. But hopefully I can actually see out the back. Get the rest of the stuff I need packed in. Uh, yeah, so uh, tomorrow morning, get the food in there. Uh, and then book it to uh, New Hampshire. It'll be about like an eight hour drive and I'll see you uh, at Rogers Campground. Okay, got the final setup. I mean, we're gonna move that, it's not mine. But this is, uh, this is it. A lot better than last year, although I uh, had an orange pole, I think a fly pole. That snapped while I was setting it up. So that wasn't uh, <laughs> really much good, but uh, it's a much bigger tent much bigger mattress it's gonna be a lot more comfortable all set up uh, it wasn't raining this year like it did last year so it was a, a little bit easier uh, to get set up comfortably got this large vestibule here very nice you got that's a lot of area uh, that mattress is pretty big I had to hard time pumping up I got the books I got toiletries so it's my time paper towels there and the table's got a bunch of stuff I'm gonna Unzip and show, but I got stuff a little bit organized. Got water, got the coolers full of food, I uh, got the guitar there. So it's a pretty good setup. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. So on uh, Saturday, Lancaster, New Hampshire, uh, pointing to the mountains. It's hard to like do it while I'm looking at the camera. It's absolutely beautiful. Air feels so clean. I have a hard time keeping my hand out of the lens. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I loved it last year. Uh, probably going to love it this year. Got a better setup. I actually know what I'm doing, but made some mistakes. But it's not a trip. If you don't forget stuff, you don't fumble things. So hopefully, if you have work fast, we link up. If not, uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. Oh man, man, somebody left a uh, TV here. Rogers Campground during Fork Fest. Doubt it works. It's probably why it should be in the dumpster. In the dumpster now, and I gotta lock it up because I don't want to be in the woods with a bear. Alright, so this is the field. You got the pavilion right there, that's where the main stuff goes down. And then you've got all these uh, tents, these big uh, big canopies in the 
uh, field. So a lot of stuff goes down here. It's like the center. It's where like the most, the biggest gatherings happen. So that's where uh, RFK spoke last year. I spoke about it on Hump Depot Brie. Uh, but the last Pork Fest 23, this is 24, uh, or year 24, 21st Pork Fest, 23rd, 20, 20th Pork Fest was in 23. Bit confusing, but that's where RFK spoke. They locked it down. They had gun checkpoints around there. Lots of people came in, but it was all in the pavilion. There's going to be more stuff, but usually you see those door. Those two doors are open. That one's closed. But usually all the doors are open. You can just walk in. That wasn't how the RFK event was, but I don't think there's anything that's going to happen where the pavilion will be locked down. But yeah, this is like the the biggest area of Pork Fest, where like a lot of gathering happens. You've got, I think, uh, like. The, uh, the Rangers and the uh, the first aid people are there as well. Uh, so it's a really big area. It's also just like, like I said, this whole place is nestled in a forest and a mountain range. It's absolutely beautiful. Air feels so clean, even with the chemtrails. Uh, it's just really nice to be here. So it's Tuesday morning. Fork Fest started. Didn't get much yesterday. It was like a welcome event, Jeopardy. Like first time there was a Fork Fest Jeopardy. Participated in that. And it's already like, 90 degrees or something like that. It's been like in the high 80s and it's been like that since like 8 a.m. So it's going to be a real scorcher today, probably for the rest of the week. Brought plenty of water with me, but I'm just going to be sweating like a pig. At least the countryside here is absolutely beautiful. I'm here at RV57. Uh, you can see a bit of a simple setup there. Sold six copies so far, so doing well with that. Always nice. Uh, but yeah, it's just casual we're still kind of ramping up to um when most of the people will be here and this pork fest is going to be a lot more laid back and chill than the last one not having any bigger speakers like rfk and vivek ramaswamy had his like uh campaign bus that was driven on here people didn't like that people didn't like rfk and how much drama there was with that being a no gun event at the pavilion but none of that stuff is happening this year so it's a lot more laid back chill a lot less controversial which Honestly, I'm, uh, I'm all fine with that vibe. But yeah, just going to sign off here for now. Hey guys, so it's Saturday. I'd say evening, yeah, especially the evening. And uh, really, uh, Pork Fest is uh, winding down. I didn't really report much. We did get some rain, so I did kind of shudder myself a little bit. Had some good experiences, so this was a much more laid back event than last year. And in some ways, I absolutely loved that. Other ways, it was a bit of a... Uh, like, I guess I had to like rein in my expectations because last year was a really big event. It was the 20th anniversary, had all these speakers, so there was a lot of stuff going on. But this year was definitely much more of a laid back off year for the event, uh, which is honestly pretty nice. But this was still pretty nice. This is still like uh, a great trip. Although camping is always a little like physically intensive, it's also a bit inherently uncomfortable, but that's part of the appeal of the whole thing. So definitely really like this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me documenting a little bit of my Pork Fest experience. Um, yeah, I'm signing off now.